Hey there friends, uh, I just wanted to make a quick video um, showing how to Google or how to download Google Earth Pro, which is different from Google Earth. Um, and then I also wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to make a cross section just so you can reference this later instead of having to go through the whole um, Zoom recording. But if you've never downloaded Google Earth Pro on your device, I have this link here and you'll go to that, which will take you to this page here. So with that, um, depending on what kind of machine you have, if it's a Windows or a Mac, so you're gonna install, um, you're gonna click on whichever one of these your laptop is or your device. If you have a, if you're using a, um, a tablet of sorts, I believe there is a way uh, or there is an app in whatever app store you use, and that should work. So when you click on this, you'll download um, the software, and then when you open it up, once it's all downloaded, it will look like this. So this is gonna be the first thing that pops up. It'll say navigate in Google Earth, and you can, I suggest, um, even in the lab part, I suggest to kind of go through these um, navigation tabs, especially if you've never worked with Google Earth before, Google Earth Pro before. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that. This is a pretty cool piece of software that we are going to use several times throughout this semester. Um, and so you can zoom in and out of places. There's, you can show the borders. On the left hand side here, you can kind of, um, you can create, you can Put things on you can take things off um, you can add roads and stuff it's actually a pretty cool um, little thing so what i wanted to do is show you what i want you to do for this particular lab which is create a cross section of a region of your choice um, preferably either a uh, what do i say here i say a cross section of a relevant geological feature such as a local continental shelf which i have shown below here or a like a volcano or you know like mount st helens or something like that but we're going to do more cross sections of volcanoes later so you know maybe if you're from monterey you want to do a little cross section of the canyon that's right here or some of these islands down here you know whatever works for you i'm happy with whatever um, and i'm going to show you something here real quick so i'm going to keep terrain on over on this layers section here i'm going to show you what happens when that's on and then I'm going to show you how to turn it off. So to create a path or to create a cross section, there's several ways to do so. The easiest way I think is to use this add path button. So up on this top little section here, if you click on this um, little button, notice how this popped up here. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to go through point rays. So you can do this in two ways. You can either click and drag, and then click OK. Um, or you can do a uh, click and click, and that does a straight line automatically. So I'll just click OK with that as well. So in order to show the cross section that I'm asking for, you're going to um, right or center click on whatever path you want to show the cross section. And that will give up this, or uh, that will give you this little menu here and you're gonna do show elevation profile. And then it should give you a nice profile here. But notice, and once you, as you drag um, your cursor along where it's at, it shows where it is, which is pretty cool that you can see where the mountains are. But notice that it, once we get to sea level, then it just kind of nixes everything out, right? Kind of annoying, huh? because we're going to do some activities later that requires us to have a look at um, what's actually going on underneath the water. And I finally figured out how to turn that off. So in this layers section here, turn off the terrain. And that should realistically give us a profile. So notice how it didn't automatically do it to that other um, path that I had created. Um, you kind of have to, once you turn it off, once you turn the terrain part off, you have to kind of re, resubmit the, um, the show elevation profile thing. So 
This is where we're able to see where our continental shelf is. Also notice how it says, you know, negative 362 feet. Um, this may actually be a really good uh, tool for one of those questions where I ask you if you can dive down to the bottom of the continental shelf, huh? Yeah, can you dive 183 feet? I'd be impressed. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's how you um, make a cross section in Google Earth Pro. We're going to be making several cross sections. Practice this several times. I highly recommend to do that. Um, and you can make cross sections wherever you want. Um, and then you can also use that, um, that adding path tool in order to answer those several other questions asking how long and wide the various oceans are. If you have any issues with this, please let me know. Don't just put on your lab that I didn't know how to do it, so I'm not doing it. Um, you will lose points for that.